Hi guys, back with another video. You might see this shirt a lot on the channel because I'm trying to record a bunch at once. So, and you might hear thunder. Say hello, thunder. Yep. Oh, thunder's gonna show you what we're talking about today. Yep, switch games. So, I wanted to show you guys, I'll hold it up, my switch collection. It's, that's for a thumbnail. <laughs> it's probably not the biggest collection by any means. But I'd say it's decent. I also have a few digital games that I never like bought physical. And then, um, yeah. And then I, I gave away a few. I gave away Donkey Kong Country Freeze because I didn't like it very much. And I think Link's Awakening after I played it, so. All right, so we'll start with this, which I just came out with a video about this, Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, great game, you should play it. It's really fun, it's a great, I think, uh, entry into Fire Emblem. I've only played three houses, but for me, I, I could have started, I would say you could start with either one if you have a Switch, like, they're both amazing. Very different, but you can watch my video on that. Bravely Default 2. I started playing this recently actually and it really is a hidden gem like I haven't really heard anything about it in a long time but it's really fun I've really been enjoying it so far uh, Engage came out Fire Emblem and um, that sort of took away from this game and I have limited game time these days but I intend to come back to this East Origin I've played East 8 and 9 both really fun I started this I haven't really gotten around I, I got a few games for Christmas so there's a few I haven't gotten around to yet this is Super Mario Odyssey. Now this game is really fun. I've played like several times. Um, it, it's just a great game to play with other people and, and by yourself too. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Now this is one of my favorite games from last year by far and in the whole series is amazing. If you haven't played it. Mario Kart Deluxe, classic. Super Mario Party. This is a really fun game. Whenever my brothers come in town, we play this. Just Dance 2023. I haven't opened this yet. Uh, you might be wondering, why did she get Just Dance? Well, um, I have a kid now. I'm thinking when she's like two. I was thinking ahead. Maybe one. She could do this with me. So that's honestly why I got it. Um, Alright, let's see what else. Alright, we got Astral Chain. This is a really, really fun game. Um, I really enjoyed it. I would like, one game I haven't tried is Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I don't know if I would like that game. But this game is really fun because it does add RPG elements. It has like, a, it's just so unique really. I haven't played another game quite like this with um, it sort of has like this buddy cop vibe, but then also it's sci-fi yeah. and it's just really, really fun. It's, it's not the best story ever, but it's just such a great, it's, it's a really enjoyable game. Now this is another one I haven't played. I bought this, Ace Attorney Chronicles, and it, I think it's kind of a visual novel vibe. And at the time I just was not in the mood for a visual novel. In fact, I hadn't even played any visual novels when I got this. Um, and now I think I've played one, which is, I'll reference later, it's really fun. Um, so yeah, I don't know, if anyone knows a lot about this, let me know. Um, I, I haven't, I haven't given it more than 30 minutes, try, to be honest. Oh, here it is, it's the next game. Okay, so this is kind of a visual novel and gameplay, and 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, I was obsessed with this game. This is such a great game. I binge this game, um, if you want just a great story, you want something that's not too heavy on the gameplay, you don't have to think about the gameplay too much, but you just want like a great story, this is such a fun, fun game. And if you love sci-fi, this game is amazing. Next we have East. This is a really fun game. Um, this is the first East game I played actually. I didn't play 8 first. Um, this came out, I had just finished the tra uh, Trails of Cold Steel 4, and I thought, okay, what else does Falcon make? And this is just such a, uh, I really enjoyed this. And I didn't have anything to compare it to either um, in terms of East. And it reminds me kind of, I was always thinking of like Batman. <laughs> like, or like those Spider-Man games where you can kind of like go up 
um, it's really fun. You can go up buildings and explore. It also sort of reminds me of classic, um, like, older games, like N64 or GameCube. For me, that's older games. Um, I was a kid around the N64 and a little bit of the, uh, the machine before that. But anyway, so this is just, you can explore. It's just so fun to go around. It's fun to do the side quests. Like, everything about this game is just, like, a fun experience. Um, I really enjoyed it. And the characters are fun, too. Super Mario Maker 2. To be honest, I'm not really much of, like... I am a creative, so it's kind of funny, but I, I'm not this kind of creative. I don't really like building things within a framework that's, like... I don't know, I just get bored really quick with it. But I did I did like making like some troll, <laughs> like seeing how crazy I could make the levels. So it was kind of fun, like I would recommend it. It just wasn't like, I'm not like obsessed with it. Trials of Mana, this is another game I started and I haven't really gotten around to finishing. Um, it seemed interesting, I don't have a lot to say about it really. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, one of my favorite games of all time also. Yes, I know it gets some hate, but you include the um, the DLC with this game and the story is just so amazing. You have to get past a couple chapters. Like the first couple chapters are, they're fun, but they're not like mind blowing. You get later on and you're like, wow, this is really good. That um, was out on Switch for Xenoblade. And it just, another one, kind of like I was talking about I think I talked about this in a different video, but Three Houses blew me away. This game also blew me away. I, this is another game that got me really back into games. I was like, wow, this is so good. So I highly recommend this game, actually. Um, yes, it's a little tropey. There's a few things that I'm like, this is stupid. But, like, overall, it's so good. Like, it's worth it. It's worth any tropey, silly things. Um, Super Mario 3D. Now, I have already played... 64, which I actually have the 64. I could make another video of my 64 collection. It's not huge, but um, Super Mario Sunshine I played also as a kid. Galaxy I never played. That was kind of that in-between time when I wasn't playing any games. Um, but I started playing it on this. It's it's pretty fun. I, I like it. Um, so yeah, Yoshi's Crafted World. I've played this entire thing. This is such a fun game. This is such a relaxing game too. If you want kind of a relax, like you want to play like a Mario game or you want to play like a platformer, but you want it to be extra relaxing, not too challenging, just like a fun time. This is such a great, cute game. Like if you're having a bad day, play this game, you know? Um, Monster Hunter story. So I didn't get the Monster Hunter game because I didn't think I'd like it, but I did get the stories RPG one and it's really fun. It kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon experience a bit. Um... I, I've played about 20 hours. Pokemon Sword, I played this. Uh, I think I got burnt out on Pokemon. This is the last Pokemon game I bought. So I haven't bought Arceus. I haven't bought um, Violet or Scarlet. But um, this was a good time. I enjoyed it. I uh, I thought it was cute. But I just it just feels like... And again, I know they're being a little more inventive now. But it kind of feels like same old, same old a little bit. This is a game I highly recommend. It's hard, but it's fun. It's If you want like a challenge in your turn-based RPG, Shin Megami Tensei 5. I got the Steelbook one. Um, show you guys. So, it looks pretty cool. And here's the back. So, yeah, I um, I really enjoyed this game. I think it's fun. It's it's just fun for the gameplay and the environment. And this I know this is dumb, but the sand looks really cool in the game. And like, that's one of the reasons I'm obsessed with it. It's just the way they made the sand. I know that sounds dumb, but... And this is kind of another poke. This is like... Okay, so Pokemon's fun, right? But if you want like a little bit more challenge to your Pokemon, a little bit more intrigue, I'd say play this game. It's just, it's very interesting. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, another great, amazing game. Xenoblade games, because I've just never talked about it on my channel. Um, so, you know, Kuni, I got this for Christmas, so I haven't played it. But I love Studio Ghibli, so I'm sure it's really good. Um, Trails of Cold Steel 4, great game. I love, I've only played three games in the Trails series. You can watch my video on starting the series at Trails of Cold Steel 3. At the time, Trails from Zero wasn't even out on Switch yet, so I had not played any of the other games so 
amazing. Loved four, loved the experience. Had a backstory to figure out if you start at three, but. Dio Food Chronicle, this game's really fun. Um, it came out, came out around the time that I had uh, my baby. So I started playing it for but it wasn't because it wasn't interest interesting um, or good. It was just, I didn't have enough time. I mean, I would say it's not like my favorite game of all time, but it's it's genuinely a really fun experience. And I, I would recommend picking this one up. Yonder C Cloud Chronicles, this game's really fun. This is one of the first games I got in Switch back when I thought I didn't want any dark stories and I didn't think I wanted any action. I learned now I actually do enjoy that, but this is kind of more of a cozy, fun game. I do enjoy a cozy game every now and then still. Um, growing up, like, Story of Seasons, uh, or not Story of Seasons, at the time it was like Harvest Moon. Um, the one that's getting a remake soon, I'll put it in the thing, but uh, that was like one of my favorite games as a kid. So this kind of has that chill vibe. Um, so that's, that's fun. This game is fun. I liked it. Honestly, my husband liked it more. Um, Moonlighter. I really enjoyed this shop part of it and the action's fun, but it was, I got kind of bored of going in the dungeons, but I would say this is still a really fun game. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3. I like this game. I don't love it, but it is really fun. I just, I don't know. I think for me, I just get bored quickly if if the story, if there's not like a story to hook me. But it's such a cute game. And Gooigi's, Gooigi's really fun. It's a fun Halloween game. We play it every Halloween. Um, Zelda Skyward Sword. This is a fun game. I still haven't gotten through it completely either. Trails of Cold Steel 3. Played the entire thing of this. Like 140 hours or something. I did all the side quests. It's, it's fun. It's... Great game. I mean, this is what got me into the series. Um, really great characters, really, like, the NPCs are fun. Like, everything about it is just very, like, in-depth. And if you're looking for that in a game. And I also find these games kind of relaxing, even if the story is kind of intense. Really fun. Recommend. Dragon Quest XI is another really fun game I recommend. Um, I played parts 1 and 2. I did not play part 3. So I finished the game, but I didn't ultimately finish it and that was enough for me i really enjoyed it um i think it's this is another it sounds weird but it's kind of a cozy game ish to me um it's it i really enjoyed like i would sort of like end my day playing this game if that makes sense fire emblem warriors three hosts well you know i had to pick this up because i was like oh three houses um it does sort of give a similar three houses vibe it has interesting narratives it's cool to see the characters again I've played about 60 hours, so I've played one route. I started with um, Dimitri's route, because Dimitri is, like, my favorite character. Um, and Three Houses, pretty much. And, uh, but I, then I went to Claude's. I've done about half of that. I kind of went the reverse of when I first played Three Houses, I started on Edelgard's route. Um, so I guess I'm going to do her last. So, yeah. Uh, this is, like, a really fun game. I highly recommend it. I just haven't gotten past the first route, because the gameplay is kind of similar e even though it's really good and really fun and i get i i, I kind of get bored with this style of gameplay really quickly so 60 hours for me is pretty good for that tales of the spirit i was gifted this game um i couldn't i couldn't get through it i think it's just i don't i don't have the nostalgia factor i did play tales of arise on playstation 5 um and that's really fun uh i well i even that game i I finished it, but it felt a little long to me. So I, I think for Tales, I, I like them, or I like Tales of Arise, but I'm just not as obsessed as some other games. And this game I just haven't gotten through. This game is really fun. Finish this, East 8. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, I, you know, if you haven't checked out any of the East games, check out East 8 or 9. Um, this one's funny. gets stranded on a, a desert island. And um, he has to figure out what's going on there's really no one there other than him and a few other people um, from their ship. So it's fun. You kind of build a base and everything. Then I have Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE. This game is underrated, I think. It's a really fun time. Um, you're not going to get a Fire Emblem or a Shimayami Tensei experience with this game. You're going to kind of get your own thing. But what's funny is for me, this is I played this game before I played... I had played Fire Emblem, but I had never played Shin Megami Tensei playing this game. And it's kind of a good gateway into Atlas games. I hadn't played Persona yet. Um, 
it kind of yeah so so that's kind of fun like, it's it's just a really fun game like i i recommend it i enjoyed it i played the whole thing i love these games honestly the rabbits um mario rabbits kingdom battle I think I've played like 120 hours, which is insane. Um, I got the DLC too, a really great game. I think these are kind of underrated too. Um, here's Tactics Ogre Reborn. I kind of talked about this in another video, but I'm not obsessed with it. I, I don't have the nostalgia factor. Um, I don't know the story. Like the story is taking a while to pick up. Um, it's very dry. It's fun. Like I like the strategy. It's a challenge. So I like that. It's it's a it's a good game. It's just not captivating me. Now this Pokemon game is the last one I really enjoyed because I was yellow when I was a kid. So this was so fun to pick up. I actually when I was a kid I couldn't get past like the cruise ship. I couldn't figure out the ticket and that whole scenario. So I had been stuck there. And back then there were no um like there was an an internet guide or anything. Um, or at least not one that I could find. I think the internet was kind of rudimentary. Um, so it was really fun getting to play this game, go through it. It kind of had also like that Pokemon Go experience and yeah, it was just a really fun game. Final Fantasy 12. This game's really fun. I recommend it. It's kind of um, like Star Wars-y a bit. And it's a really big world, which I always enjoy. It kind of has, like, if you like Xenoblade Chronicles, you might like this game. It's different, obviously. It's very Final Fantasy. But um, the world and kind of, like, the focus on the world building and the focus on what's going on in the world is is um, is pretty similar. I will say, though, the dungeons, some of them felt really long to me. Um, they were a bit of a slog. But it was a really fun game. Zelda Breath of the Wild, this doesn't really need much introduction if you haven't played it. Definitely check it out. Great game. Loved it. Um, yeah. Kirby the Forgotten Land, this is a really cute game. This is kind of like, um, and I still haven't finished it, but I'm almost done. It, it's kind of like Yoshi's Craft the World, and it's really cute, and it's just a relaxing sort of platforming experience. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, this is my favorite game of all time to this day, still so far. We'll see if anything on it this year. <laughs> um, you can check out my video about that. But yeah, love this game. If you haven't played it, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so good. Chills from Zero. I played this recently. This was really fun. Love this game. I see what all the hype is about with the Crossbell arc. I'm excited for the next game. I've already pre-ordered it. Um, great game. I would say if you want to start the trail series and you don't mind kind of older graphics, this is really, really, really fun. Near Automata. I've started this. Uh, I started it recently. I have not gone past the first hour. It's it's great. I mean, I like Astral Chain. I'm sure I'm going to like it. Um, I'm sure I'll like the story and everything. I just haven't had the... I've been playing Fire Emblem Engage. <laughs> and that's where all my time's been going. So... Now, right before I finished Engage, I finished this game. This is really fun. Um, not as good as Engage, but really fun is Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I definitely recommend this game. Um, you should definitely check it out if you have not. Um, if you like the other game, you'll like it. If you like strategy games, you'll like it. It's, it's a little cutesy, but it's really, really fun. Triangle Strategy, if you want a more serious strategy game and you like sort of the Octopath Traveler vibe, which is actually, I have Octopath Traveler too, but that's on um, digital only. So that's why that's not in my collection. But yeah, this is a really, really fun game. This is one game I have not played, Terraria. It's another game I was gifted. Don't really know anything about it, but I will definitely play it at some point. And then I will tell you guys a little bit about my digital collection. So let's see. Okay, I have this game, Akka. I haven't played it yet. That's a new thing. I used to be so good about not having a backlog. And then now that I have a kid, it's I kind of have to prioritize my games more. Nino Kuni 2, I got on digital. I started, haven't really played it much. Um, let's see what else. It, Octopath Traveler, Stardew Valley, that's a great game. Same with Animal Crossing. I'll just, I'll tell you guys these and then I'll put a screenshot up because it's kind of difficult. So yeah, 
Animal Crossing Stardew Valley, similar sort of vein of relaxing. Stardew Valley is a little more like complex, but they're both really fun. Um, oh, this is a game that no one talks about that's really fun. If you want another strategy game, there was this time. It doesn't seem like it now, but before 2022, there were not as many strategy games on the Switch. And I was looking for one, and this game came out. It was called Brig Brigandine Legend of Renergia. It's really f a fun time. I liked it. It's by, like, an indie publisher. Um, check it out. Another game, Slay the Spire. That's really fun. It's kind of a card-based game. Uh, Paper Mario Origami King, to be honest. This game is not as good as... Nintendo 64 Paper Mario, which used to be my favorite game of all time back in the day before I played some other games recently. Opus Echo of Starson, that's a fun game. I recommend it. Um, Atelier Ryza, I tried this game, to be honest. I don't, I don't really see the hype as much. Like, it's fine. It's just, and I like relaxing, cozy games, so you would think I would like it. But I think the whole gathering resources and like getting a certain amount stresses me out. And so, or something about the way they they designed doing it, because I don't mind in other games. Something about the design of it, I don't like. So if that's different in the other two, please let me know. Um, but the first one I just wasn't a fan of. I also have Fell Seal. That's kind of a fun game. It's challenging. It's kind of like Tactics Ogre where it's just strategy and sometimes I get a little bored with just her. I want like a little more so story. Let's see, Valkyria Chronicle, Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon. I played this for a surprising amount of time considering it's how old it is. It was fun. Cult of the Lamb, it's, it's fun, but I'm not obsessed. Banner Saga, another game. I see, I really like strategy, but I think I need a story because Banner Saga and um, yeah, I, I got I, I just haven't gotten around to really finishing it. Cozy Grove, that's a cute game. And that's pretty much it. So that's my Switch collection. What did you guys think? What games should I add? What games do I need to play? Uh, do you feel the same about games as I do? Or do you feel differently? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure I had some controversial opinions. So see you guys in the next one.